Well, welcome to the final chapter. Here, what I'm going to do to close this lesson is um, a little bit demonstration with three different render engines that we can get consistent results if we follow uh, the instructions and all the things that I told you in, in this tutorial. I know they are not easy to follow and not easy to learn all the things at time and I didn't get too deep in, in many aspects but th these are uh, just uh, basic things that we need to take in account and I'm going to demonstrate why just a little bit in this final video okay so let's go Okay, first of all, here we got the scene in V-Ray, which if I pick the camera, you can see I got these objects. You can see in the in the left, if you don't know 3ds Max, in the left it shows the objects that you got in the scene. We I got an Arnold Light, I got a a Sky Dome. Okay, and I got a map in this Skydome. And if you see that uh, map, let me open the material editor. Okay, if you see that map, uh, that map is a panorama. It, it's an HDR that, it, that it's loaded. Okay, inside this dome, we talk about what a Skydome does so that's why i got a panorama there uh, and you can see how materials are made in in my scene okay so what i've done i i textured these boxes in substance painter and i exported the the textures with a preset that uh, com compacts various channels in a in one, just one texture but that's not important because if you see what I why am what I am doing here, it show you that um, albedo and an emissive is are loaded by automatic by uh, with a color correction, a gamma correction. I mean, and the other textures which are normal maps and occlusion, roughness, and metallic are loaded in a gamma one point zero. Okay. So that's the important thing, and that's the thing that uh, I will do in almost any texture, texture, and I'll do it in Unreal Engine 2, okay? So, now you can see the camera and the parameters of the camera, which are pretty basic. And now I'm going to change the scene to show you the other scene, which is rendered in, in V-Ray. And in this scene, I got a physical camera, which is the same camera, okay? And I got a light, which is the same light, okay? And I got a, a sky dome and a map, okay? And the map is the same map. And the 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 environment the map is the same. Uh, give me a second that I open the map in, in the material editor. It's going to appear in a few seconds. Okay, here it is. It's the same map, okay, which you can see there. And the the materials are are different because I'm using now um, standard materials, which are not B-ray materials, but the the um, the maps are loaded in the same way and materials uh, have got more or less same same parameters which are the important parameters that are, are connected equally okay so <clears throat> this is the scene um, the rest is is just the same and and that's all i think uh you can improve what uh, where the camera is, if you, if I uh, push the render, the render button, let me show you what what 
happened what what I rendered uh, let me search for it but uh, just the, the render just uh, I just had to wait just uh, a few minutes for for both render Arnold and V-Ray these are the results this is the result of uh, the Arnold render this is the result of the V-Ray render it's slightly slightly different because uh, the environment I, I loaded uh, bad in the case of, of V-Ray but it's just the same environment yes it's, it's loaded with different exposure but it's it's almost the same render if you if it's, if you check both both renders it's almost the same so now I'm gonna do it I'm gonna change to um, Unreal Engine, which has a different material editor, and in which you can see that I I load the same maps, including the map that has different channels for three textures, different three different textures. Okay, red is I mean occlusion, green is um, um, roughness, and blue is metallic, and the other maps are just loaded like like it is but in in unreal engine when you load maps you load maps in in linear or not linear in in this in the pro in the map so you you just need to check or uncheck a standard rgb this checker which is important in the case of this map because in the others it detects it automatically this is a reflection capture in order to have reflections in real time and this is the skylight which guess what is loading the same panorama HDR which is the just the same texture um, it's loaded as an HDRI so uh, RGB sRGB is unchecked that's the important thing here and we got the same scene modeled and if I push push play you can see that it's just the same the same scene in in unreal and is is working more or less like like uh, in V-Ray or or Arnold just is real time you can adjust uh, exposure if you want and you can see that uh, you get uh, different maps if you want to change the post-processing you need a post-processing volume which I have one in the same and I can change let's say bloom add bloom to the to the emissive which is not working exactly now because emissive is too low on energy now so I need to crank up the emissive before I I do the bloom but I won't do it now I can change white balance on the fly and I can change uh, tinting and whatever <coughs> post, -pros post production control colors that I want with this post processing volume and just let me show you um, the different channels that Unreal is, is making this is the light that is uh, multiplied over the, over the textures and let me show you just one box that you are going to see inside the box the second UV channel that is made in order to have um, have the light bake over the over the the object okay so it got it's got just two UV channels this is the reflection the reflection that is just another channel that is go it goes over and you can see um, other parameters like metallic and roughness these are all the channels that are that are composed in the final pass in real time okay so this is the rendering in unreal you can see that it's 
basically the same with little differences and um, I just want to say thank you to you for purchasing this tutorial and going through it with me uh, just say sorry too for English is not my language and I'm doing the best I can to express myself in this uh, second language and just say thank you again for purchasing for bear with me and I hope you learned something today so goodbye